going to be making an obelisk which I love saying because it sounds super fancy but really all an obelisk is is just a cage that fits over your potted plants so you can train the tendrils of the plant to grow up the sides so for example it's great to use with ivies it's great to use with mandavias which I have on my front porch so let's go ahead and get started that we'll need for this project. So we're going to, just for starters, we're going to need embroidery hoops. You're going to need two large embroidery hoops. You'll need one medium size embroidery hoop. You're going to need a small wooden cabinet knob. And lastly, you're going to need a very flexible one inch piece of thin molding from the home improvement store. You can get the embroidery hoops at a craft store the knob and the molding I got at a local home improvement store. You're also going to need paint. So whatever kind of paint, we're going to be using black spray paint for this project, but whatever kind of paint you need to match your decor, you'll need that as well. Also, you'll also need some wood glue. Okay, so now we have our four pieces of molding that are cut to 30 inches. These are going to be the sides of our obelisk. This right here is the base of the obelisk. It's one of the larger embroidery hoops. So we wanna mark and see where our pieces are going to be attached on the embroidery hoop. What you wanna do is find the part that is scored on the embroidery hoop and make a small pencil mark. This is, this is one part where the molding will be attached to the embroidery hoop. Then you're gonna take a measuring tape or ruler and then measure directly across from the measuring tape as shown and that way see you want to go ahead and make sure that you have it exactly equidistant across just like that and you make a small measuring small mark with your pencil then come over here find the other place where it's scored come over here and you're going to make an equidistant mark and this is where, this is just a guide so you'll know where to attach your molding pieces. The next step is we're going to go attach our molding pieces to the side as shown. We're gonna use a small little bit of wood glue to hold it in place. And then we're going to use a small finish nail to attach the molding to the embroidery hoop. Here's a close-up of the base embroidery hoop attached to the piece of molding. We use small finish nails to attach the two pieces together. Next, you're going to want to add the second embroidery hoop approximately six inches up from the base, and then six inches up from that, you'll add your medium embroidery hoop as well. In addition, you can also use glue instead of finish nails if that works better for you and your project. Okay, so now we have attached uh, the sides of our molding to our embroidery hoop on the bottom. We also added a second embroidery hoop of the same side, size to the other side of the molding. And then lastly, we attached our smallest embroidery hoop to the top. So we have this part of the molding attached to the embroidery hoop on all four sides. And we've attached all four pieces you can see now. The challenge is, you can see from this that it is not very stable. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish it at the top. And to do that, we need three things. We need a larger block of wood like this, cut approximately, it's three and a half by three and a half. This piece right here, a small piece, cut uh, one and a half by one and a half. You'll need a wooden knob and you'll attach the wooden knob to the smaller piece. And then you're going to need four pieces of wood cut four inches from the molding itself. Now, we, you can see here where we have gone ahead and attached the smaller block and the larger block to, let me hold this to the camera so you can see it. You attach 
You can gather all four pieces, attach the larger block to all four sides of the molding. Then you're going to, using a, this smaller piece here, you're going to be attaching it to the smaller block at the top. So now you have your completed top up here, which helps to stabilize the obelisk. So this is what the obelisk looks like when you are done attaching all of the embroidery hoop and the pieces of wood to the molding. In our obelisk project is once you have finished attaching all of the pieces when you've attached your embroidery hoops to the molding pieces on the side the very last step is to paint it now you're going to want to paint it some color that matches your decor here we're going to be putting these obelisks outside in the urns on either side of our front porch so I wanted it to be black so we spray painted the obelisk black and I'm about to show you what it looks like on our front porch Okay, I just wanted to show y'all a little bit about how we attached it. Here is the um, obelisk, right? It sits right on top of the urn. And then here you can see that we've kind of um, wound the flowers through it and it goes all the way to the top. So one more last look, and then I'm gonna show you both of the urns on the front porch. I love how this turned out. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you had fun coming along with me as we made the DIY Obelisk project together. If you like this project, be sure and give us a heart. If you'd like more projects like this, be sure and subscribe to the Thistlewood channel. Thanks so much and I had fun creating with you today.